Hello, welcome back to um, Mrs. Here at Spelling at Home. This is your Key Stage 1 session and we're going to look at um, a letter string today that you can't really use your phonics for, but it's one that is always the same. So once you've learned this, it will really help you with your reading and your spelling, okay? So uh, the cells that we're going to look at is actually three separate um, letters. So we've got this one which does um, sound as it's supposed to in this letter string. So that is the w, w sound. And then we have this, we have the O and the R, which normally would make the OR sound. However, when, oh, if I just hold them like that, you can see, when they come after a W, when they come after a W, they make the R uh sound. So this string of letters actually says W, okay, W. And this comes at the start of quite a few familiar words that you have. So um, I'm going to show you some and then you're going to see if you can think of some more, just like we used to do. Um, and they make this w sound. But you've got to remember that this normally would say or. It's only after a W changes its sound. So one of the words that I have thought of is this one. And you can see there we've got our letter string w and then we've got d word okay so that is the word word so you can um keep going wah, wah, and see what um other sounds you could put on the end to make some words so pause your video now see if you can think of some other wah words okay let's see how you did because um it's ones that you might not necessarily be able to think about straight away but once i show you them you'll go oh yeah i should have thought of that one so we had word we have also got this one. Read that one at home. That's right. Work, work. Okay, work. Um, worm. Should recognise that one, hopefully. It is world and that's how you spell world and i think probably um when you're reading you'll be able to read these quite well because they're familiar words and actually if you said walled you go oh that doesn't sound quite right you use your kind of knowledge of words to sound uh, to sound it out and to read correctly but when you're spelling that's when sometimes if you're trying to use your phonics to spell you might sound it out as word and then you might put the uh, like the ur on er in the middle so that's why it's just important to remember after a w um, the R, uh, we get the O, R, okay? We've got this one, which is worth, okay? If it's worth doing something or the value of something, is it worth? And this one, the worst day ever, or the worst witch. Okay, so you see there we've got worst, okay, worst. So you can see there is actually quite a lot of words that start with the W-O-R letter string. I mean, it's just really important, like I was saying, that you remember um, that it makes that er uh sound because it wouldn't be one that you could use your phonics to do. So your final job is to do your sentence writing. So you can think about some of those words that, um, that I've done or that you've thought of at home. I've written a sentence. Um, if you want, you can pause the video now and write your own sentence and then see if we've got similar ones. Or you can see the sentence that I've done first and then you can use that to give you an idea of what you might like to write. OK, so decide what you're going to do because my sentence is coming now. OK, so see if you can read that sentence at home. So we've got some of our sight words there as well with looked. So it looked like the... And then this one here, you can break down. If you take the S off, you can have longest, longest worm in the world and remember when i say we read things we read something first to decode it to figure out we can say all the words then we read it again for fluency and for understanding so now we've read that once looking at the separate words we can read it as a whole sentence it looked like the longest worm in the world and i've got a capital letter there and a full stop at the end it looked like the longest worm in the world Okay, so good luck with your sentence um, and that's one of your spelling rules. So hopefully you'll remember how to spell those words from now on. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.